Hey guys, welcome back to GP Automotive and Diecast, and today I'm going to be showing you my uh, full Diecast collection. I've actually never done this on YouTube before, so, you know, I've done reviews here and there, but I've actually never showed you my full collection. So you're going to be seeing a lot of cars today that you've actually never seen before, um, and I will be doing reviews on, but um, before we, you know, head into it, I would say... If you see a car that you'd like to see a review that hasn't already been posted or an unboxing, definitely put in the comments down below what uh, which one you would like to see. So it gives me kind of an idea of you know what kind of cars you would like you guys like to see. So we'll go ahead and start off over here. Um, most of my cars in my um, collection are 118s. Um, I do, however, do have some 124ths up in here. Um, and on my uh, windowsill. So, as you see there, I'll go through them. Um, before we get into the kind of all that stuff, let's go ahead and do a little bit of maintenance. Um, got a couple batteries here. So, in this section, which is called, I call the kind of like exclusive level, you know, kind of the, the more, um, some of my favorites that I have in my collection. And, um, I will go ahead and change these lights, which, shout out to, let's see if I can get this down, there's a magnet um, on the back of, where well, you stick it on whatever you want, and uh, that is a magnet, and it hooks onto that. There's your company brand name right there, and it's motion activated, and they're LED lights. Um, they take a couple of AAAs, and, uh, and they're actually really nice. I haven't had to change these in a long, long time. So, uh, they definitely hold up well. So, um, that's good. So, let's go ahead and just do that. Whoop. Oh, there we go. So, they're on. There we go. So I guess since we're already in here, I guess we can start in the closet. So, up here is the kind of quirky 2000s cars, I guess you can say, and of course that Hummer back there. So first is the Barago Smart for Smart Roadster. This is not a car that we got in the U.S. Very neat and weird looking car. Definitely a weird looking car here. And then next you have the... Let's see if I can get this. Chrysler panel cruiser concept and one cool neat feature about this one is um, I got this on sale for a very cheap price I believe it's like $15 because of this damage in the back here um, but it came with this original box and there's wood in the back which I thought was really really neat so it's supposed to be kind of like a work truck um, panel cruiser PT cruiser it's kind of a little weird quirky car there I've always liked to look at these PT, well, I just think they're just, you know, weird, and some cars that, you know, a lot of people sometimes hate, but I, in fact, do like them quite a bit. And then you have the PT Cruiser Convertible by Hot Wheels, that's also a Hot Wheels, and then you have the Maisto 118 Chrysler PT Cruiser with the Woody livery. Um, these are a little harder to find, just because of that wood. Very, very neat. And then we have the Plymouth Prowler, made by, I believe, you know what, I can't remember. Um, hold on. Uh, made by, let's see, Anson, Anson. Made by Anson. Um, Anson 118 scale. Actually does have a removable roof, which is pretty cool. And it does have the uh, purple paint color, which I thought was uh, one of the best colors. I think the original press color was purple too, so another cool feature with that. Definitely a weird looking quirky 2000s cars. You know, a lot of people hated them, but I do love them. Then you have the Shelby Series 1 by Maisto. Very neat car. And the Maisto 118 Chevrolet SSR concept. I've always loved these little pickup trucks. Very weird, has a hard top convertible um, with a V8 
very nice. And then you have the, uh, I actually got this at Sam's Club, the Maisto 118 Hummer H1. It's a very, very, very neat car, guys. I'm getting out of here. It's also a very, very big one, too. It is true to scale, which is nice. Let's see, 20, I think the 10th anniversary edition version, too. And this kind of orange gold color. Very nice. Actually has all four opening doors, which is neat. You don't see that too often. That's very neat, too. Got that for about $20. Or I think it's about $18, actually. Which I think if you can find any car at Sam's Club or Costco for, you know, $18 or whatever they are, I think it is a great price. And then let's go ahead and turn that flash off. Then we have this 118 Mercedes-Benz S-Class made by Maisto. Actually does have the original catalog with it as well. Also very neat. Next up we have the Maisto 118. Cadillac DTS DeVille 2000. Maestro actually made a Mary Kay version in a uh, purpley pink, or sorry, a uh, pearl white that kind of had a little pink hue to it. Um, very nice. Nick's Diecast does have one of those. Go check him out. But I have the normal version. I got this one for only about $30, I believe. Very great deal. We'll put that catalog back up there. And we have the 118 scale Maisto Ford Thunderbird. Very, very neat car with the removable roof. Now this has kind of an interesting backstory. This was a um, giveaway at the, I believe, Detroit Auto Show in 1999. And it came in the yellow box, which I bet some of you do know. Um, I don't know where it is. Let me go check if I can find it, maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it, it's the yellow box with, um, it's not a window box, but it's just, it has the Ford logo, or sorry, the Thunderbird inscription in a yellow box. And that tells you that it is either from the Detroit Auto Show or I believe the, I think, yeah, it's the Detroit Auto Show, I believe. Um, I've always loved these Thunderbirds. Very cool retro car. And then we have this BMW 325i convertible with the actual working roof. Now, I saw this car first on one of Nick's diecast videos of the hardtop convertible he got. And I saw that model and I'm like, I gotta get it. Because it's so neat, you know, with the working roof. You don't see that too often. So, get that white, white back. There we go. So this one did come with damage to the plastic, but I got it for a whopping $14. And it's new in box. So it's a very, very, very cool model. There you go. And I, um, like I said, I do have this one, but I also have this one. A uh, Ford Thunderbird show car. I forgot to mention this is also a show car. Both the 1999 models. Um, the pre-production version but in this very beautiful black this is a premier edition from Maisto with the red interior very very neat car moving down we have the Maisto 118 Mercedes-Benz 500k type special roadster 1936 a gorgeous car and if I don't say, it has a very, very cool opening hood with so much detail. So if you can find this model anywhere, I definitely recommend this one too. Very, very pretty model. And then up here we have the 118 Scaled Road Legends Tucker, 1948 Tucker. Very kind of weird car that they made for a very short amount of time. They also made a movie about this and the a man who designed it. Then we have a UT Models. 118 scale Chevrolet Corvette 1999 Le Mans edition. Very, very neat car, the Le Mans pace car. Also have a uh, Johnny Lightning Ford Tucker right there. 
very neat, and I forgot to mention this. Panel Cruiser does have a original early 2000s Matchbox car to go with it, so that's kind of neat too. And above that we have the Maisto Gold Strand Signature Edition Corvette 2, the C5 generation, as well as that one. Went from about 19, I believe, 98 to 2004, the last car to ever have pop-up headlights, and the first car in the world to have heads-up display, if I'm not mistaken. And down here we have some dark cars, because I um, have some lights on order for down here, but um, we'll have to do with my flashlight. Uh, we have the GMC Canyon for Maisto. Cool story with this one, I got it for a really good price for about $30, which is an amazing price for these things. Um, the model kit 118 Volkswagen New Beetle, the Mini Cooper, also a model kit 118 scale. The 118 scale model kits are pretty hard to find these days, but if you can find it, I would say they're definitely a fun um, build if you're kind of, you know, a little bored with the 124ths, definitely a little more challenging. Then we have the C4 generation, 1996, I believe, Chevrolet Corvette. Very, very pretty car. Convertible, of course. Then we have the Jaguar X-Type in this red. I got this one for a great price, too, about $35, which is a really good deal for these. Uh, I tend to go for some money. And this Jaguar, I believe, Mark III or Mark II. I think it's a Mark II. This is one of my favorite cars, actually, from Jaguar from the time period. Actually has all four opening doors, which is neat. They're really fragile, but there it is, too. And the uh, brand new, to me, and Sam's Club for the 2023 season, you have the BMW M5, which I made a video about um, that, a little short video. And another Hummer H1. This was actually an older version from the 90s. And uh, this specific model was made in the 90s, and it's the premier edition. Kind of hard to find in that black color, but um, yeah. So now we're done with that, and we can move on to this. This is a 124th Lamborghini Guard of Superleggera. Then you have the new Lamborghini Countach. Lamborghini Cyan FKP37. There you go, Hot Wheels version. And then a Lamborghini Diablo SV. One of my favorites, the Porsche Panamera. Definitely like this car. And then one of my favorites, though, is the Lamborghini Huracan Porfimante. Got this model at Sam's Club this year. And the 911 GT3. Very good looking car. The Ferrari SF90 Spider. Also a um, uh, Sam's exclusive about, I think, a year ago I got that one. And then the Ferrari F50 in yellow. It's an older model. That's from the 90s. And this is a Bugatti Devo. Got this model about two years ago. So very, very neat. So, I got my fire going as well. Of course, you got to have that. It is actually Thanksgiving Day, so I'm bringing you a video on Thanksgiving. About to go eat a lot of food. Hopefully, I don't you know get sick or anything. But we do have this, a Dodge Viper Indianapolis 500 edition pace car. This is a very neat model. A lot of cool, uh, you know, de decos and paint jobs on it. As well as the box is pretty neat as well. And then you have the newer. I actually got this model at Sam's Club this year, the first wave. The Dodge Viper GT2. It's actually the GT2R. GTSR, which I thought was kind of weird. It says GT2. But this one actually is a GTSR. Very, very cool car. It's the pearl white with the white stripe. It's a very, very neat car. I like that one. You have a couple little Vipers on here. Then you have a Datsun 240Z. Very nice. Then it's cousin. They, I guess it's brother. The Nissan 350Z. Pardon the dust. Holy moly. You know, time flies. I was sick a couple days ago. So, you're going to probably see some dust, but don't mind that. Trust me, I clean them. <laughs> um, you got a little cars over here. They're 164ths. Some very, very neat ones as well. The 1965 Pontiac GTO. The 1969 Dodge Charger RT. These are all from Sam's Club. 
the 1965 Chevrolet Corvette. Beautiful car. 1967 Chevrolet Camaro SS with the 396. It is the convertible as well. Also a very, very good looking car. The R35 Nissan GTR. I believe it's a 2000, yes, 2009. Very famous car. Um, have a lot of 164s up here as well. And the 2020 Mustang Shelby GT500 with the CFTP package, the carbon fiber track package. And the 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS, the 2020 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe, with the exclusive design, so it has that special deco on the hood. And if we can get y'all all the way up here, the 2020 Ford Bronco, the Sam Walton Ford F-150, the SVT Lightning fire engine, and the Challenger concept. I am way, holy moly, the Ferrari S, uh, Monza SP1, the 1962 Chevrolet Bel Air, the Highway Patrol Impala SS, Chevrolet, of course, and the 2021 Ford Bronco Badlands. This is the Wild Trek edition here. So, those are all the ones up there. Um, I'm not going to go through all of those with this. It's on my Hot Wheels. Um, but, um, I guess we'll go over here. I guess we'll go ahead and, um, I'll have to change these batteries out. But uh, over here, at the Mercedes-Benz ML320. Funny story with this one. So this was the first Maisto I've ever gotten. Jeez, it's been so long. It's been, I think, before COVID even. So um, maybe four years ago, I got this at a antique mall for, guess it? You're probably wrong. I only got it for $7. Yes, I got it for $7. That's cheaper than most five packs of Hot Wheels. It's crazy. And this beautiful new model to my collection, 1955 Packard Caribbean, made by Road Legends. Or Road Signature, sorry. Absolutely beautiful car. I believe this competed with the Bel Air. The, uh, excuse me, Bel Air. But it really never caught on because kind of old technology with the engine. Uh, the Chevrolet Bel Air Concept by Motormax. The Toyota Land Cruiser made by uh, Road Legends. These are all 118s. The 118 Road Tough Lexus LS400. Right there as well. Matchbox. The Collector's Edition. American Muscle 1996 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. The Maisto Lexus LC430. And if we go up here. The uh, 2021 Ford GT Heritage Edition. The new for this year, 03 Mustang SVT Cobra. The Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR Street Version. It was an exclusive a couple years back. The brand new 2022, well, to Maisto, Audi RS e-tron GT. The 1971 Chevrolet Camaro. The Audi R8 GT. Got this model at Costco. Got this model at Costco as well, the Lamborghini Urus. Kind of sad to see this one though because it's actually only 120 the scale, which is weird to me, but they underscaled it because it's an SUV. But it's weird because they also made the Hummer in 118 scale, which is a way bigger car, so it doesn't really make sense to me, but who am I to say anything? And the kind of custom 1967 Ford Mustang GTA Fastback. So, quick story with this one. So this is going to be kind of a long video, but um, I got I had this model when I was a little kid, and I kind of tore it up, as you see here. So what I did is I bought a brand new version of this, and I took the frame, because I broke the steering and suspension on it when I was a little kid. So I took the whole frame off of the new one and plopped it on the new one. This one's actually, or the old one, sorry. This is actually from a GTA Fastback. This is a GT Cobra Jet body, though. So kind of a fun custom build I did a little while back, actually. I like doing little projects like that. It's kind of fun to me. 
And if you're wondering what this is, I'll give you a little peek. It is also another 118. And the only peek I'm going to give you is this. Put in the comments down what you think it is. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything. Right, well, these are a couple of ones I have for sale. There's a Ford GT under there, and there's one right here. Um, a couple Hot Wheel packs and stuff, but... Oh, and there's the uh, Mustang I was talking to you about. That's the body from the new one. But yeah, I think that's it. Like I said, I have a couple for sale, so... I don't really count those as my collection anymore, but... You know, it's it's pretty... You know, I have some of these I have to put up on my wall. But, uh... I guess these... Also, guys, can show you. These as well. And Bo's 100th Anniversary Edition. Um, I mean, that's kind of it. Got a few more Hot Wheels. And like I said, the 124th. Give you, I guess I'll give you a closer look at these. So yeah, so I've got a little collection update there, so... Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you already haven't, hit a like. And, you know, if you see any cars that you'd like to see a review of that you already haven't and that hasn't been done, uh, definitely put in the comments down which one do you want to see because, you know, I've done, I have so many more cars that I haven't showed y'all till just now. So, you know, I have all these cars that, you know, I haven't reviewed yet, and I don't really know where to start, so if you guys can help me with that part, it'd be kind of good. So put in the comments down below what your favorite model is, and which one you'd like to see a review of in the future. And definitely have a safe and amazing Thanksgiving to all of y'all. And, um, you know, stay safe out there, and well, don't too m eat too much turkey or stuffing there, so I gotta take some of my own words with that one. But, yeah, so thanks for watching. And have a great Thanksgiving. And see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.